Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and welcome to another retro review. Tonight, we have a very special episode because this is one of the crown jewels of my collection. This is something I have had since it was released, and I has followed me just everywhere. I have, uh, I guess, to go over the history because this is the section for it. Uh, I got this way back in 95, I believe, when it came out. I vividly remember picking this off the shelf and just seeing a Tyrannosaurus Ninja Turtle figure and just being like, I have to have it, and I got it. Uh, they were also clearing out Ninja Turtle stuff at this time, so I got this stupid cheap and didn't know it at the time. So I actually held on to it and kept it in the package for years, hoping to track down a second one so I could have one out of package. Uh, I, it wasn't until many years later when I just didn't have any success and eBay was more of a thing that I checked it out and discovered exactly how much prices had skyrocketed here. I did not realize how rare it was and it kills me that it's so rare. I honestly wish this was something that was like overproduced and was everywhere because I want an army of these things. Uh, Shogun Shoet, who was a character in the actual uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic, the original one, not the Archie stuff, um, won again towards towards the end, I think, of the original run. It was issue 42, I want to say, that he made his appearance in and just like really cool character in the comics and just a fantastic figure uh, that just happens to be hard to find. There are also two variants of this. Uh, I have the one with the purple weapons, which again is just kind of a serendipitous thing. And there's one with kind of slightly metallic blue weapons and I'm obviously happy I have the one with the purple weapons. Uh, but yeah, an amazing figure and I'm glad I get to show this off because I couldn't find much information on it for years and it kind of is a bit of an honor to be able to show this off and kind of show it in detail. So without further ado, let's do this. And jumping into aesthetics, I actually just wanted to take a quick second to correct my pronunciation in the intro. I believe it is pronounced Shoate or Chote, depending on the source. Uh, in the comic, it was spelled C-H-O-T-E, and for the figure, it is S-H-O-A-T-E, uh, both of which I believe have the, the long E at the end. Or, so yeah. Um, that take with that way you will. I've been saying show it for de literally decades, so <laughs> it's a little hard to, to change that, uh, especially not where I don't say it out loud a lot. But regardless, uh, aesthetically, Shoate looks amazing, um, as any figure with back metal does, and just the sculpt work. I mean, the, the Ninja Turtle figures were really just an absolute joy. There's a reason that so many of us have such fond memories and just like the, the wackiness and the, the care and just love and fun that went into the sculpts really shows here as well. So uh, in terms of the paint, not too much, but you know, you got this tan plastic and then you get the, the green on the top of the arms, goes up to the top of the head and uh, that's about it for that. A little bit on the chest and for the face, you got the like they filled in the gums with this dark maroon and then some really nice detailing on the eyes. So that's fantastic. Uh, then of course you got some blue paint, um, the gi and the, the knee pads and a little bit of reds and blacks. So really well done. And the symbol here on the chest, I'm not sure what that's supposed to signify. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. And uh, of course that gorgeous, gorgeous back, back metal. Uh, obviously I've taken immaculate care of mine so it looks really good and I intend to keep it this way. So, um, really, really fantastic. Then you get to the sculpt, and again, like I just said, just everything super lovingly done. Uh, you can see the vascularity, he just looks pissed off. It just really sells, like it tells a story. It's very much just a really well done character. Uh, I love the head sculpt. Again, I've wanted just a ton of these because I wanted to like, try out some customs and stuff, but that'll never happen, unless I can find somebody that does castings. Um, but yeah, just really super cool, like great expression, and just lots and lots of detail. It's just really fun to look at. So yeah, that is the aesthetics. When it comes to accessories, Shoate here does not have a ton of accessories, but the focus here really is on the weight and the sculpt of the accessories, as opposed to giving a bunch of not quite as hefty ones like we we're getting like a full sprue at the original like at our sorry at the beginnings of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line so uh the ones we get are in 
uh, order of how they are listed on the back of the package, which I no longer have. Um, first is the dragon headed double dose ax. And again, focus here is on sculpt and we just got a really good job. Cool wood grain with this kind of snake design going all the way up to the top to the head of the X, hence the name, uh, double-sided blade. They come down to the bottom and we've got a little bit of a claw going around what is probably a stone of some sort, but again, like no paint because it's intro weapons. They just were never painted. So you got that. Then next up, we have the slithery sharp snake slicer and it's more of a dagger. Um, so really nicely done blade. And then you got your hilt right here. Not too much of a design there. Then we get to the handle. And again, we got kind of like some, what looks like wrapped leather-ish with kind of a dragon snake piece wrapped around coming to a dragon head at the end. Trying to get that to focus there. There we go. So again, really, really well sculpted and just awesome to be here. And finally, we have the Long Lizard Blade, my personal favorite. So a katana style sword. Uh, this time we even have some like just actual sculpted work on the blade itself, trying to get that to come out here. There we go. So as you can see, it's kind of a dragon design. Uh, probably make more sense this way. Uh, so you can see that there. Uh, you can pause it if you need to. <laughs> Uh, then again, we got the same hilt we had on the dagger and same handle as well, but just really well done and really cool accessories. There was also a trading card with Shoate and I seem to have misplaced it. I swear I didn't throw it out, but it is what it is. So that's lost to time. <laughs> when it comes to articulation, Shoate is pretty much standard Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line fare. Uh, so it's a lot of swivels. And that starts at the head because we have a swivel so we can get about that far over, about that far over. We come to the arms, we can go all the way around. And then we have cuts at the armbands on both arms. Nothing at the wrist. So just those two points. Then we do get a waist swivel. And then lastly, we come to the legs where we have the ball joints, which are really nice. And I am paranoid about this again because of those thigh guards, so I don't tend to articulate it a lot. Not that you can really get much out of it. So yeah, you just kind of moving like that. So that's it for articulation. Let's take a look at how Shoate sizes up, starting off with a couple other figures from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. Here he is with some more recent Ninja Turtles offerings. Here he is with a couple other fi retro figures in a similar scale. Here he is with some other retro dinosaur figures. And last but not least, here he is with an Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on Shogun Shoate. In case it wasn't abundantly clear, I absolutely adore this figure. I really, really, really wish they had produced this in higher numbers and that was easier to get and that more people had it. Um, it's just like, oh, this is one of those things where as a collector, like I, I don't care that it's valuable or anything like that. I like it for being the item and it just kills me that more people can't have it and that's just more just of just the thing that's out there. Like I, I hate the scarcity in collecting a lot. Um, you might see me talk about that a lot on Twitter. I just like, I wish everyone could have it. That's why when they, when Hasbro or whoever reissues a figure and people complain about it driving down the collector value or something, I just kind of laugh because I don't, I don't care, you know, it's, these are supposed to be fun. And this for me embodies that. I just, I love this figure. I didn't open it for years. And when I finally did, I was ever so more happy. Like, I'm just so happy I have this thing. And my one wish or what my one of my, my one toy wish for the next few years and uh, Super 7, if you are listening, is I hope we get an Ultimates version of Shoate here. Uh, I would love that. So please tweet it. Um, Super 7 or like let them know like let's start the campaign get get a Shogun Shoate or just regular Shoate because I know they like the vac metal is obviously not a thing that would work in that scale but they even even with just the like metal type silver I think this would look absolutely phenomenal in the Ultimates line so uh, yeah that's my campaigning for now <laughs> uh, but absolutely love it um, 
you know, if you can get your hands on one of these, absolutely do. Um, they go for stupid money, even in complete. Like I, I found one, it didn't even have any of the, the like vac metal bits or anything like that. And it was still going for like $500, which is insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, so yeah, uh, but there are people who do reproductions. Uh, they do castings and stuff like that. And there's one in particular who does actually translucent ca castings and still does the vac metal that I end up coming across. Uh, and I will link to his Instagram in the description. Uh, they're still pretty pricey. I think he sells them for about 200 bucks, but I mean, again, he's doing them from hand um, and everything. They look amazing though. So I, I will link to that in the description. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this. Uh, and if you got through this far, I hope it was entertaining and informative. And uh, I wish you all the luck in the world in finding your, your grails or your, just your, your figures that you most want in your collection. So with that being said, uh, thank you for watching once again. Take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.